Welcome to our remote camp in northwestern Maine. This is the first trip post-winter into our camp. After stopping to test out our new drone in the town that we used to live in before moving into our van, we drove 18 miles of logging road state to our camp, not knowing what the road conditions were like. We had a record flood in December, so most of the back roads were pretty washed out. Our friend came up for his birthday, we totally didn't use matches for candles, and we went off-roading with the Tacomas to celebrate. <laughs> oh, that was close to that tree! <laughs> Keep on watching to see what life in remote Maine's like. Cheers! First, we'll start with a drive into camp. Things got a little flooded during the December flood. Yeah, didn't they, Karma? So my job is to spot Mike. Well, he goes through all of that. Ooh. So camp is, camp's right there. Of course, there's a little tree down. What happened to the roof? Whoa, <laughs> that's not good. Ooh, Carmen, look at that big moose track. Right next to camp. <laughs> we made it. See what the temperature in there is. Hello. All right, so we just had to drive about three miles out to call my dad because we can't find the keys to the propane. Yay. A little sloppy in some spots, but... Wasn't bad. We saw three deer, two partridge. Is it a rock? Not the deer. Oh, it is a deer. There it goes. Yup. <laughs> Turns out we did have the key for the propane tanks. And so we ran out there, came back, and then we lit the lights. These, that's what we use, our propane. Here, hang on, that's what the lights look like. We have four in the kitchen, two in the living room slash, we just stuck some bunk beds there because we need to jack up the back, which we <laughs> blocked the coldness Ooh, with a mattress. <laughs> Look up this lever here. At the same time you hold a lighter or a match or something, but you don't touch it because they'll burn them, and then they'll catch. You also don't touch them because then they break. Right. Ultra They're cold. called mantles. This is the stove I need to clean, but I couldn't clean any of the mouse traps because... Shit's frozen. <laughs> yeah, the Lysol's frozen, so you can warm it up. But it went from, I, know, I think it was like 32 degrees in here, and now it must be like 45. It's not bad in here right now. Yeah, but, so we bought Karma, cause she usually sleeps right there. Um, we bought her a dog sleeping bag. So stay tuned. Look at this, and a little sleeping bag. Yeah, and a big pillow. You wanna get in? Hang on, no, you get in. Come here, over here. Come here. Look at that, you get in, yeah. Oh my goodness! Do you love it? It was eleven dollars. Oh. First thoughts, Karma. This propane light lighting is not great. We're idiots. We just like kind of packed up and came up here, not knowing if we'd get into camp because of the roads. And it's April in Maine, so you never know if it's going to be too muddy or snowy. Um, we have no paper towels, so we're literally using toilet paper. <laughs> I used toilet paper to clean all of the tables with Clorox and we also forgot paper plates and bowls. We're using coffee mugs for our beans and wieners. Whatever. It's a vessel. <laughs> toilet it's paper. Fine. Hey, if I wipe my ass with it, I wipe my table with it. <laughs> Just saying. Some maple bacon beans with hot dogs. Cheers. Mm -hmm. In the Jack Daniels Tennessee mug. <laughs> It's like 60 degrees in here finally. And it's only been that clock's an hour behind, so it's eight o'clock. So it's been three and a half hours to get it warmed up. It's nice and warm now though. Hi, it's the next day. We um the birds are out. We fell asleep while reading books last night because we're, you know, old. But anyways, there's something going on with my eyes. Um and my eyes are really swollen, so try to ignore this region of me and everything else. 
Um, I started a new injection for severe asthma and I think this is a side effect, but who knows? I also got my eyebrows done a few days ago. Anyways, so we had to call my dad because it's really muddy the other way. And so we're just gonna fix up this way because he's on his way up. We forgot shovels, so Mike has, you know, an ax. My dad has a good old grampy truck, so we need to make this grampy truck friendly. <laughs> so this is the first washout. And then we need to fix this one. It's pretty much where we drove yesterday. And that was, I don't know. I don't think that they're too, too bad. How much rain? I think it was like six inches, what? six and a half inches in December oh, up yeah, here. December. After we got a ton of snow, so this was all frozen, and then with the the six six and a half inches of rain, everything got washed out. We had a little goose friend come visit. Weird that it's by itself and not in a pair. Oh, there's the other one. Mike, there's two. Yeah. Mike's gonna test how well we grampified the road. I think it's fine. Yeah, you're fine. I think he'll be fine. Just a mud flap. Where's our friends? Look at such a sweet spot to sit on the table. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, now we're gonna sit on the toolbox here. We bought for the van, but we're gonna use it for our personal use until we leave. And we'll lounge and watch the geese. <laughs> she just jumped over the side of Mike's truck. <laughs> You're crazy. This is the setup. We're lounging, watching the birds, waiting for dad and our friend Alex to come. <laughs> so this is how we have water at camp. We fill up these blue jugs. We're trying a different spot to get it. No, I don't think it's gonna work. And I was just filling it up with, like, with this bowl. But Mike made a little spout. The twist tea can. <laughs> that one's like fairly full. Cool. Yeah. yeah. No, don't get that water. Gross. You gotta get the flowage. Now, here's the first modification. We modified it to the bottom now. <laughs> yeah. What about nice. That's some nice flowage. Nice work. Not bad. We'll try it next time. We already have water now. Oh, look at the karma dog. All right, we filled up the jugs. We're gonna go back to camp for some lunch because we haven't eaten today. And then we're waiting for my dad and our friend Alex. They're coming in two separate trucks just in case my dad can't make it. <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out. It's getting a little muddy. back we're gonna fix the roof today and our fire is still going which is pretty impressive all right food time food time food city food city at old camp karma mike's having some broccoli slaw but i'm gonna put some of these lights on just to show you guys but i'm not even kidding we have so many of these lighters none of them work oh pfft. Seriously. <laughs> okay, well, before now, none of them worked. This is the only reliable one. Old Floppy reliable. with duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you flip the lever. Boom. Light, baby. Light and broccoli slaw. Oh, 
Come on, birds. Come on. I'm sorry, Karma. <laughs> I love you, birds. Yeah. Look at all the moose prints. You guys are gonna look at these. Big old moose. Stuff. Look at those. Mike's doing a little yard work. I put the flag up. Karma is, you know, keeping guard. Now we're just cleaning up around camp while we wait for dad. He said if we heard a couple shots from his 9mm, we have to go rescue him. <laughs> Dad made it with our friend and now he's fixing the roof. You just hold that so it don't roll over. I'll get these screws up. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, somehow I got roped into this. You gotta go up to the top rung. I voted for Alex, but Matea said I'll do it. Here I go. Careful, it's gonna stretch. It's not gonna fall though, I swear. Jesus stop, stop, stop. It ain't gonna break. Woo. Famous last words. That rope's pretty rugged. We used, we used to use that rope all the time. Yeah. Someone call OSHA. Now you need to put the rest in. Put it wherever you can. And if you want, once you, once you start working your way over, we'll do like a row, then we can move that ladder right over. It's a temporary fix until I can get up here again. Okay, Michael. Ah. Release the road. We're taking a ride. And see how muddy this road was, and it's really not that muddy. There's our friend's dog, and Karma's right here. We're gonna go back to camp, and then Mike and I have to drive to service. He forgot to pay his truck payment, so we have to go do that today. We just drove out a few miles, 10 15 minutes out, and now we're hiking. It's all the cut, so you can pay his truck payment and get service. This shot shows the dam in front of camp. The dam was used in the early 1900s to control water levels and drive logs down the river. Good morning! <laughs> we uh, left you guys hanging last night, but it's fine. It's a new day. It's Alex's birthday! <laughs> Six matches on his birthday Danish. Dad's, you know, dilly-dallying as always. Pooping. Oh no. <laughs> we'll get it, hang on. You better hurry. Yay, happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was hard. hard. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. It's a camp birthday. After the Danish, we're now on a um, adventure. Oh. I in the back seat because Dad's with us. I got thrown in the back. Ooh, a little muddy. We're gonna go mudding with both trucks for Alex's birthday. We left Dad back at camp. Carmen's sitting with me. Alex and Lily are back there somewhere. We're communicating with radios. Too we many can... inappropriate jokes we can make. Let's see how stuck we can get. My eyes look much better today. So when we get to this first big puddle, it's like pretty soupy. If there's any trees down, I'll cut them out of the way. That's what I'm going in. Oh my god. No way. Ooh. Woo! Oh god! <laughs> Ooh, that was close to that tree. <laughs> Oh, jeez.
Holy! Hang on, Karma! <laughs> oh boy! We're gonna get some. <laughs> Onward. Onward. Jeez, look at the mud. Hey, <laughs> swipe the tree. Jeez. <laughs> Poor little first gear. You're good. You're good. Yup. Not bad at all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's um 9.15 p.m. And exciting 9.15. Everyone's asleep. Dad went to bed at like what? I think 8.15. Got the fire cranking. doing the dishes well this is the dirtiest mirror in america because it's camp but getting ready to leave because it's pouring karma's lounging turn the propane off looks like a baby bell and then you lock it <laughs> Two inches. did you swap the line no still raining our friend alex left karma you go for a ride? Leave it. Okay, bye camp. Bye camp. See you in a couple months. Be good. No, Alright, we're leaving camp. Sadwood. It's raining and dad's freaking out about the roads because it's... It's gonna raining. be soft! <laughs> See how soft it is. Well, we might stop at my mom's camp at Spring Lake. Which is really funny because it's only like, what, three miles as the crow flies? Yeah. But it takes like an hour to get there on the roads. We yeah. are at the split where we have to decide if we're going to mom's camp or not. Last chance to go see your ex-wife. <laughs> where we have to decide if we're going to mom's camp or not.